Six people from Buffalo, New York, are behind bars in Erie, charged in a home invasion. Erie police believe the crime is part of an ongoing dispute. The victims believe police saved their lives. They talked exclusively with our Mackenzie Stasco. One had me by the hand, and the other one was punching me in my face. And that's when they, like, started kicking me in the face, and then I blacked out. 16-year-old Kaltuma Hassan is grateful to be alive after a group of armed men raided her family's home Friday night. Her parents, sister, and three little brothers were at home, too, when Kaltuma heard banging on the front door. I didn't know who it was. I was just figuring that it was my brothers, and then we was upstairs, so my parents were screaming, like, who is it? That's when police say two men armed with a revolver entered the home, dragged Kaltuma outside, and started beating her. One of the boys was pointing a gun at me, so I'm like, okay, he's going to shoot me, and I didn't know, and then the other boy, like, kicked me, and he had, like, steel boots on, and he kicked me, so then I just, like, blacked out. Erie police officer Nick Bernatovich was on the scene within a minute. He found a white van crashed into the home and more than a dozen people outside, several armed with guns. When the officer drew his weapon, police say he saw several people run behind the van. Bernatovich heard a gunshot and took cover. As the responding police officer waited for backup, the suspects took off in a white van down East 11th Street, only to find out East 11th Street turns into a dead end. They thought like there was like a road down there. So they just, they came and they stopped in the middle of the street over there. And then that's when the cops came in after them. The suspects apparently put the van in reverse, trying to run the officer over, then took off running. Bernatovich jumped in the van and put it in park. Police backups helped arrest five men and one woman. The suspects live in Buffalo, but are native to Kenya. Police believe the home invasion stems from a prior dispute. A lot of Africans, they have drama, and drama always goes on. So they think that the only way to settle it, settle it is like to kill somebody or to either fight somebody. The Hassan family says without the quick response from police, they wouldn't be alive to tell their story. I was pretty surprised and amazed that they came quickly. And because if they didn't come, then they would still be here and knocking on our door and they would still like be shooting. Like they, they was trying to kill all of us. In Erie, Mackenzie Stasco reporting. Charges against the five include burglary, terroristic threats, assault, and gun violations. Border Patrol also was called in to confirm the suspects' identities. Police say the people could be deported back to Kenya.